Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Welcome back to Lump Tycoon 2. Happy Friday, everyone. Uh, well, it should be Friday. Um, not going to be a long video just because I've really enjoyed being able to record the 15 minutes and like just that's it. 15 minutes of lumber and explaining and having fun. I like the shorter videos. So I know a lot of you are like, Code, I need my 30 minutes. But for me, in my mind and for my relaxation and, and for my well-being, it's it is much better. And I'm doing this wrong. Dang it. Okay, I gotta jump down. <laughs> I was walking that entire time. So um, the idea is on my last video, yesterday's video, I said I wanted to try and make a bridge or a, a, a walkway down. Excuse me. On this so I think that's what I'm going to do and I've got a ton of um, doors I can absolutely use because I didn't use them here hold on uh, I need to go up a little bit more there we go come on I, I am building on my own land that's my land up there build okay I placed it somewhere I hope it was somewhere close. Dude, I need to back back off, back off. Go back down. Alright, we can move this one. Move it up there. I did. I built on my own land. If you don't know what's happening, you have to look down at the ground first, and then you can build up in the sky. And basically what I'm doing is I'm just gonna move all of these since I already have them built up there to the top and we're going to try and put them oh gosh what put them up in the sky um this door bridge i never made a little stairway to go downward on so that's what i'm doing if i go over 15 minutes don't don't hold me to the word of hey i was only going to do 15 minutes because it does take a little while to, uh, dude, no, dang it, takes a little while to build, oh, I can't, I can't reach it, hold on, there we go, and placed, <clears throat> Danny, the lag is real cool, I know, I know, it's got, it's got some laggy bass effects, <laughs> not that kind of bass, Code. Come on, seriously. You're just being silly. <laughs> Boink. Um, put in the comments down below. What are you doing this weekend? What are, what are you going to do for fun? Don't be like specific places and, and names and stuff, but like, um, I kind of want to go roller skating this weekend. And a lot of people are like, Code, you roller skate? I'm like, yeah, I roller skate. Are you kidding me? It's like one of the first things in my draw my life. Did you guys see my draw my life? That's that's another question. If you've never seen the draw my life before, you need to go watch it. It has a good explanation of basically me, my family, where we came from, what happened. Like that's that's a good explanation. A lot of people are asking me all the time about certain questions. And I'm like, dude, have you watched some of my videos? I explain most of my life to everyone. So, <laughs> um, also, a lot of you have been concerned about me playing in public servers. I'm going to look at it this way. Okay. Yes. Every once in a while, I will have to move and go into a private server. Stop bumping me, dude. But if I lose my base, if it gets hacked, if something happens to it, oh, well, I'll start over and I'll, I'll start playing again. In fact, it would probably give me more content because I'd have to start over and that's not an invite for exploiters out there to come and like destroy my base I don't want you to destroy my base I hope I never have to rebuild again I hope it's uh getting fixed um speaking of which I haven't seen uh, uh, oh excuse me oh disgusting cut <clears throat> I haven't seen a lot of exploiters after Roblox rebooted um people who do exploit who watch me who are fans did something happen did did roblox actually go and fix the exploits 
and that's this is just me talking out loud. I I don't know if it did. And to everybody else who's in my comment section who is a fan of me who is not an exploiter, stop giving the exploiters a hard time. This is not it's not for you to judge them. It's not for you to like belittle them. And for those of you who are exploiters and you're talking smack to the non-exploiters, stop. Okay? There's there's nothing you can do to justify what you, you're doing. You're cheating. All right, you're cheating the game that you don't need to cheat on. Yeah, but code, there's there's so much stuff that like isn't in the game anymore. And if it wasn't for exploit, whatever explanation you got to bring to yourself to to explain it, I don't want to hear it. I've heard every excuse in the book. I've heard every reasoning in the book. It does not justify it. You're just ruining the game. There are games out there, and this this is something that I think psychologically happened with Minecraft, okay? Minecraft was never intended to be modded, but Mojang couldn't stop it. They could not stop the exploits, they could not stop the modding, the, the changing of the, the vanilla. That's why I love vanilla so much. That's also why I forced my kids, like they watched, they used to watch Jin and Pat, the, the modcraft or whatever it was, and that was a long time ago all the time and they'd ask me like dad can can we download mods can can you get us mods and i resisted for so long but finally i just i gave in i'm like you know what they now have forge for minecraft and we can absolutely download that and it works and it just yeah we use mods and we uh play different modded maps stuff like that and mojang just eventually or microsoft eventually just allowed people to mod like you can you can do modded versions now i don't know if it's looked down upon or what their stance is on it but they're definitely not stopping it so i figure that's that's probably where it all started now the other thing is it started with game genie and back on the original nintendo you know modifying them and hacking's been around for years, all right? So to, to hack and modify and to change things, that's not exploiting. Exploiting is when you figure that out. You figure out how to cheat at something, or you figure out an exploit, which is a backdoor, a bug, whatever the case may be. And you use that to your advantage, usually creating a program that will do it for you. This is where the exploit programs come from, the, the injectors. So the exploit programs themselves are not the actual cheats. Oh gosh, we're having a lag, lag. They are the program to inject the cheats or to allow you to run your own custom scripts inside the game. Those custom scripts usually have uh, a GUI of some kind that will appear and it just it looks like a normal GUI except for the fact it was not programmed by defaultio it's not supposed to be in the game that's how these things work and the reason they're dangerous is because there's a lot of programs out there so there's a lot of programmers out there who will create the injector make it look like it works correctly but in the background it's stealing your cookies it's uh, logging your username and password whenever you go into Roblox uh, if it sees that you are already logged into Roblox, it will log you out of the website specifically to force you to put back in your username and password. I've seen all kinds of stuff. So it's better just to don't exploit. I'm not going to look down upon you if you do exploit because I used to exploit back in the day, back whenever I was a little kid. Okay? It's been well over... 25 years since I last did an actual like exploit injection of code so <clears throat> we're only nine minutes in I still got a lot of doors here I hope I put enough up there to make the downward bridge thingy staircase now we're right on the edge so we're not going to be able to do um, we're not gonna be able to make a platform out to the left out here, but we will be able to make it on the end. 
So, oh no. All right, hold on. Let me just move this real quick. Hit B, there we go. And I didn't hit this platform at all. That's, that's nice. So let's head back up to this platform. And, oh man, I hit all of those, didn't I? Oh no. If you can't tell, the, uh, the ladder is running parallel. And it's kind of hard to build these, uh, these door bridges. They take a long time. But from up here, you can see all of Lumberland in all of its glory, its beauty, its majesty. And as you can see, there are three palm bridges. But this one over here, this is the only palm bridge that you can get to. Can you move that wall? I can't get up. Sorry, dude. Oh man, I hit all of those right there. Dang it, okay. We're, we're gonna have to take all these and place them up to the top. All right, look down, then look up. I hope that's where it needs to go. Down, then up. Some of you are asking, Code, how are you gonna get those doors on the bottom? You'll see. Hopefully, hopefully you'll see. <clears throat> the whole reason I made this platform right here. This was a long platform outward at one time. I think it was as long as my base was. Oops, did that not go? That didn't go upward, did it? Dang it. That's okay. It looks like I might already have some doors up there. Here, let's go. Let's go take a peek. Come on, Danny. You're gonna have to climb on the other side. Hey, Goat Gamer YT, thank you so much for the subscribe. By the way, if you subscribe while I'm recording the video, you do get a shout out. So shout out goes to Goat Gamer YT. For those of you unsavvy to the youngins dialect, goat means greatest of all time. Goat. I try and stay up on this lingo. You know me and my street smarts. <laughs> Oh, did I mention that I have ADHD? I try to make that apparently clear in every single one of my videos. Now, I have calmed down much since, like, I was a kid. And I think a lot of that had to do with uh, the Marine Corps. Just kind of beating it out of me. But they didn't beat me. They did, it, was, it was repetitiveness of routine. Which, for somebody who likes routine, it's very good. Okay, this is a fat door. Hmm. I don't know if that's what I was looking for. <laughs> let's see. Not sure if I'm going to be able to use that. Let's, uh, let's drop that down. I'm going to drop over here. There we go. These are all fat doors, aren't they? Oh, dude, I wonder if you can make a staircase out of fat doors. Out of fat doors. I'm not being insulting. That's what they're called. They're called fat doors. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, wait. I might not be able to do this because I'm right on the edge of my base. I can't build this direction anymore. So if you're going to do one of these bridges, make sure you back up a little bit. Whatever the distance is to, to walk down to the island, you need to be back that many doors. But let's, uh, let's just give this a try. Can't build over here, it's too far out of the way. What about, rotate turn. Oh, <laughs> that's a bit much. Okay, so I, I should be able to do it. 
right about there. But, let's see. Ooh, 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 ooh. Careful, careful code. Okay. If I open that door, what is it attached to? Is it attached to that one? Oh, it is. It's attached to that one. Oh, gosh. So, that was a good workout. <laughs> Wow, that's a long ways up. Yes, it is. It is a very long ways up. So, let's move that one. If I hit B. Hmm. Hmm. trying to think how I would move this so that it's not attached. Hold on. So if I move this one, what if I move this one? What if I open that door and then I move this one? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Am I in the way? No, you're you're fine, dude. You're fine. Okay, I should be able to place this one off to the side for a moment. Okay. So then, I need to take this one. We're gonna move it down. Yes, now you're in the way. There you go. And we're going to place it right here, I think. Can only build on your land. Hmm. Hold on. Is that... That should be good. But I have to open that door. Otherwise it won't attach. Hmm. Okay. Hold on. If we open right here... Nope, no, no, no. I want to open the door. There we go. Oh, sorry, Danny. Oh, Danny, no. <laughs> oh, no, Danny. <laughs> uh, careful, dude. That's the one I'm about to move. Here, I'll just, I'll drop you down. Right here. There you go. Don't knock me down. Don't knock. Don't knock me down. Don't knock me down. <clears throat> Okay, hold on. Where is this one going? Whoa! No! <laughs> it's dangerous building door bridges, just saying. <laughs> He's like, wee -hee! <laughs> Oh gosh. Don't jump on my head. No, don't jump on my head. Okay. So we opened this door, right? Whoa. And it left this spot. So, this door needs to go back in that slot right there. Okay. So, we need to do a turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. And a rotate. Right? Hold on. Um, turn, rotate. There we go. Just like that. And that should. Oh. No. Why is it not letting me build? Oh, I see the problem. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha, you. I got gotcha. you. I'm going to open this door. And then we need to. <gasps> no. Then we need to move that door, right? 
Oh gosh. Hmm. Or maybe move that door. Then hit B. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. No, that just puts it back. So how do I correct the door? Oh, 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 why is it doing that? It should just be walking down. There we go. Left and right, left and right. That'll work. So, hold on. Need to grab this door. And it needs to go, needs to go right there. But it needs to crisscross. See how it's got the little crisscross patterns in there? So, how do I get both of these open? That's already closed, that's already closed. If I open this door, that'll, that'll work. Hmm. This is just undoing the entire bridge. Dang it. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Am I just messing up the door bridge at this point? I think I might be. Close that. Close that. Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. No, that's right. like that though that's that's crazy how to fix door bridges 101 I can't think of it. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. The order of operations is usually like you, you open the door, then you move the door that it's attached to, and then you should be able to close that door and put that one back. So move, that door is open. Oh wait, do I just need to set this off? I feel like if I set this off to the side, I'm not gonna be able to put it back in because it's it's clipped in with that one down there, the one just below it. See how it's like clipped into the thing? Come on. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Seriously? Seriously? Just saying. Oh, I've gone way over my time. I'll tell you what, I will try and figure this out on the next one. You're doing that on purpose, aren't you? Oh, you little poop. <laughs> Excuse my language. <laughs> oh, he fell. He fell. No. Oh. Jump on his head. Jump on his head. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 on this Friday with me, Heath Haskins, Good Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all the, the cool things that I'm supposed to call out. What? What? Family friendly, please. Oh, he said the D word. That's fine. I mean, that's not really a curse word anymore. I mean, it is kind of. Cineac says it. Or used to a lot. Love you guys very much. Have a great weekend, and we'll talk to you soon. Um, I will try and figure out what I'm doing wrong because it's definitely. <gasps> I 
have him jump back down. <laughs> I just, I want to do this. I'm, I'm, I really do want to do this. Hold on. Where's he at? <laughs> oh, did you, is he jumping on my head? He is. He's jumping on my head. I think he just fell. Was that him down there? All right, fine. Thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Good Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end of the video. It's like a good YouTuber knows. But it's up to you. It's your choice. If you want to subscribe, go for it. If not, that's cool too. You were here. You watched. You had fun. I love you for that. Have a great weekend. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro. A little bit of a special for those of you who actually stayed past all the, the stuff and you didn't click on the next video. This is day three of uh, No Shave November. So at the end of the, uh, the month, start of December, I will shave it off and whatever that, that video makes for proceeds, I will match it or double it and we'll donate to Children's Miracle Hospital. So, Children's Miracle Network. Yeah, you guys know what it is. I do it every single year. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.